let's talk about Asterix the Gaul. So this is a uh, Belgian animated movie. It's uh, based on this uh, old French comic series that, you know, I don't... I never read, I know next to nothing about it, but um, I know it's like a... I know it's very popular, and, uh, you know, I've seen... I've seen comics of it uh, here and there. I've uh, I've seen like books with uh, comics. I never, but yeah, I never was that drawn to it. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is I know about the comics' existence. So yeah, I was well aware before I watched this movie. So as for the movie itself, um, so it's about um, this. Uh, little Viking village of the Gauls, and, you know, they're in a constant uh, battle against the uh, Romans, who uh, who have conquered, like, the, they've conquered the entire Viking nation except for the Gauls. Um, and, you know, uh, but the Gauls manage to fight them off because, um, you know, they have this magic potion that uh, makes them invincible and super tough and all that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so they're, I guess their toughest warrior is Asterix. Um, and... Um, and yeah, there's uh, this whole plot that the Romans cook up to uh, find out what their secret is, and then they, uh, you know, they send a spy in, and then they capture the druid who creates the potions. Um, and yeah, Asterix has to save him, basically. Um, <coughs> It's a simple story. Um, it goes in some, yeah, it goes in some interesting directions. It's a bit slow, but I don't think that's really too much of a problem because I think the story in and of itself is entertaining enough, and you know, there's plenty of amusing little uh, gags here and there. Um, so um, I don't think I need to say much else about the story. Um, the animation's kind of cheap, but, eh. I mean, it's not really, um, yeah, it's not really theatrical quality, but, eh, that's okay. I mean, they are, you know, the, it's about the same level as, like, the Yogi Bear movie was, and, uh, yeah, what was the other one? The, uh, oh yeah, Flintstones. Um, so yeah, as far, far as it goes, I've, I thought this was a pretty enjoyable movie. Um, you know, I honestly I don't really I can't really think of a whole lot to uh, really criticize or praise. It's it's just an all around little entertaining little movie, you know. Um, uh. I mean, I'm trying to think of something to uh, talk about. I mean, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know much about the comics. Um, but, you know, it, it, I guess I can at least get their charm from watching this. Um, you know, it was a simple enough story. You follow, You can follow along okay, despite all the crazy directions the story goes in. Um, eh, you know, this might be one of my shorter reviews lately. <coughs> yeah, it might be one of my shorter reviews, period. I just enjoyed it. I, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, but, you know, if I do think of anything else, as usual, I'll put it in the comments. Um... But yeah, you know, if it's just over an hour long, so it's relatively short. Um, 
So I'd say feel free to check this out, especially if you're a fan of the comics. Um, and I, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's quite strong enough to give an 8, but it's, it's 7 worthy. So, yep, uh, running just over 5 minutes, I think uh, that's all I really have to say for now. So I'll just leave it at that unless I think of anything else to put in the comments. So yeah, that's about it. Mash it and smash it, signing off.